the death of Marlena Childress, the police want you to come forward. Officers say they're having a hard time putting the pieces of the case together because although the child's mother says she killed her, Marlena's body has not been found. Police also say they're looking into some new evidence in the case that they hope will provide a new lead. Doug Breyer has the story. Police are asking anyone who may have seen Pam Childress Bailey on the afternoon of April the 16th, the day she says she dumped the body of her four-year-old child into the Obion River near Martin, to come forward with that information. Anytime two or more people are involved in the commission of the crime, any statement that one of those people made is considered to be a statement of an accomplice, and it's absolutely necessary to corroborate a statement of an accomplice. Miss Bailey says that on that afternoon, the day before Good Friday, she contacted this man, P.L. Summers, a longtime acquaintance, who she says helped dispose of Marlena Childress's body. Police say he is a suspect. He has been questioned but not charged. At his Martin residence, where he refused to be photographed, he denied the charges to reporters. That afternoon, I went back to the flat at 10 minutes to 4. I parked in front of the fire station. I went into the plant. I got my check. I came right back home. Why did Miss Bailey name you? Why did she come up that, with the story? That I could not tell you. I do not know. Have you known the family of I've known the family for years. Please, we have to find evidence, and this is what Chief Moore is asking for today, to put the other subject um, in the same area with the child, or in Union City, or in Martin, Tennessee, with Pam Bailey. So far, all police have is Bailey's admission that she killed Marlena Childress. No body has been found. And the only evidence against Summers is her statement that he helped dispose of the body. The only other evidence that may or may not shed some new light on the case are some clothing articles and a bone found in the river on Saturday. They're being analyzed. Doug Byer, News 3, Martin, Tennessee. News 3 has learned that Pam Bailey was taken to a hospital late last night because she has been refusing to eat. She is reportedly being treated for malnutrition. But it Charges of a forced confession are coming out of Dyersburg today. Good evening, I'm Pam Crittenden. And I'm Roy Weisinger. The attorney for Pam Bailey, the woman who was told police she killed her little girl, Marlena Childress, says the woman should have all charges against her dropped. Doug Byer has the latest on the case, which continues to be a highly emotional issue in northwest Tennessee. Police. Memphis attorney Wayne Emmons confirmed what News 3 told you Monday night, that Pam Childress Bailey has changed her story from one of a confession to now saying someone she knows as an old acquaintance took four-year-old Marlena Childress from her Union City home on April the 16th. Pam has told all of us that on the day of Marlena's disappearance, this person came to her house and when she refused his sexual advances, said that he would instead take Marlena to get some candy. Pam has told us that she resisted, but that he took her over her protest. Emmons accused Stan Kavnis, a former police investigator hired by the family, of obtaining the confession by means of coercion and intimidation. Soon after she made the confession, Emmons, her attorney, said he believed her story. But now he says he believes this story and will ask for dismissal of the case. Nobody's been found. A confession taken under the most suspicious circumstances imaginable is all the evidence the state has. If they've got more, then they haven't come forward with it yet. After Emmons' announcement, the attention suddenly turned to Kavnis, who surprised everyone, including Emmons, by producing a tape of the confession, a tape that Emmons admitted he had never heard and didn't know existed. say Miss Bailey has not told them her new story, but they admit they're looking into information provided by her attorney. And that information includes reported new sightings of Marlena, which have been frequent throughout this investigation. Doug Byer, News 3, Dyersburg. In a related development today, District Attorney General David Hayes says he will not ask the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation to subpoena the phone records and other documents that might offer new information in the case. Instead, he says he will wait until the grand jury meets in 60 days. And if at that point the records are still needed, he may support.